Good. Have you seen that before, or is something that you see it for the first time? No, it's the same people on that we were working on. Do you see any line here? Do you see any line here? Any quality or any inequality? No, Professor. Who was the last person who joined the class? Jerry? So if Jerry is the last and is the first, I want everybody to be here. So what do we have here? We have what we, we get from a book. And I don't want you to be book smart. I want you to be street smart, right, Damien? I don't want you to get an A. I want to get something more than an A. Clear, Erica? Good. And I have a problem. And as I have a problem, I want Erica to tell me <clears throat> what do I want to do with this calculations you want to find the solution like uh, no we want to find any solution like you want to find uh, the the total time they need to make no erica i don't what is 35 is how many are you gonna need to do no it's how many years i had when i got married but that's an irrelevant information. <laughs> you need to make everything relative and everything related. What I want you to do, I want you first to tell me all that information that you have here. This is what you know, and I have a question. Do you see anything here about cost? Do you see anything here about cost? No. Do you see anything here about prices for model A and model B? No. So don't bullshit with me then and tell me only what you know. You know only what I give you or you know only what you observe. And this is what you observe. And I'm sure that Isabel and Robert would like to know about cost. And I would like to know about cost, but I don't see anything about cost here. And I will ask you to calculate cost today. What do you see here? This is what I would like you to be able to tell me. And I would like you actually to cheat. Do I really want you to cheat, Damien? Uh, no, sir. But professors think cheating is when you look at what is given there and you don't know it. I don't want you to memorize it. I want you to go on and say what is happening. So what is happening here? I want you to look at what is happening and not your cell phone, except if you're at work and you take a business phone calls. Damien, what do I want you to do? That's the last day I'm here and I don't have much right. time. It's already left. You want us to define, you want us to define the, the, the time that each process that each um, each no. model takes to be assembled, and what you said no, not to the first question. Oh, what do I want to do? Can I answer the question, Professor? No, you are a woman. What does that mean? You give you <laughs> deliver babies. You are productive. I don't agree. Okay, you don't agree. So you I don't feel like I'm the end of it. I feel like I'm okay, so, it, so we can move on. You, I know, but the men are going slow. So let's move on without them. Good. Perfect. Excuse me. Do what the people are doing. Do you know what the people are doing? As long as 
as long as the queen is pregnant, all the males in the court are terminated. So, moving on, I believe that the answer is, uh, the, what we're trying to find here is the best combination of motors to yield the highest profit between drilling... Stop it, stop it, stop it. Did you get it, guys? And Aliyah joined the class at the end. Same thing with Jerry. And they are going to the top. Aliyah, say it again for the last time. What you're trying to do is we're trying to find the best combination of motors in order to yield the highest profit because we only have 240 hours of wiring time, 210 hours of drilling time, and 120 hours of assembly time. So between that, we have to figure out how much hours we're assigning towards each assignment, wiring, drilling, and assembly. And Alia was not in class yesterday. <sighs> and I promised to her that I'm going to do a review so she can catch up. And she's catching up faster than most of you. So what we have is what is given here. We have three processes and we produce two products. And Aliyah said, I'm repeating, we need to find out how much of model A and model B are producing so we can make most of the profit. Clear Aliyah. And we know how many hours we have people to work for wiring, drilling, and assembly. Clear, Erica. And I have a question before I go to the profit. Do I use every single hour that I have for wiring, drilling, and assembly? No. And this is what I want you to find out. Do I know anything else? Do I know anything else? Uh, yes, you also know how much uh, each how much profit uh, each model yields. Okay. What did you say? Um, I said you another piece of information that you know is how much each uh, model yields in terms of profit. So for model A, it's $22 and for model B. No, it's... no. Aliyah, what do I have? So what you know is we know how much time it takes um, for each um, um, action. So we know it takes three hours for wiring for model A, two hours of drilling for model A and 1.5 hours of assembly. And then in terms of model B, we know there's two hours of wiring one hour of drilling and 0 0.5 hours of assembly. So we'll use that when figuring out how much can be sold to achieve the highest profit. Good, when it comes to getting grades, I'm gonna put Aliyah to give you grades. Everything that she would say, I'll take it. And if Aliyah sees certain things here, I want everybody to see certain things here. I don't see anything about dollars, except when I see the dollars here. When I see the dollars here. Do I see dollars? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. What is the meaning of the dollar? Do I know what this dollars are, Aria? How much they can be sold for each model? No. Erica, what do you see? Do you see price or do you see profit? How much do you make for Good. model A and model B? Erica sees profit. Do you see anything about cost? No. no. Can you find out the cost? Yes. What is profit? It's expenses minus, um, what is it? Um, Revenue minus expenses. What is profit? 
sales revenues minus expenses. Good. Do I know anything about sales revenue? No, Professor. Can I find out sales revenue? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can find out everything that is not given here. And this is what I want you to be able to do. And Gary is taping, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. This is my explicit information. Andre, what is meaning, the meaning of explicit information? Andre, what is the meaning of explicit information? <coughs> Andre? Hey, what, is, what is the meaning of it? Yeah, I can hear you. Is it uh, descriptive? Explicit information is what I see here. And this is what I have when I start. From that point on, I want to tell me more things. And I go on and I ask the manager. I will say, Esther, what is happening at work? And Esther will say, people usually work five days a week and seven hours a day. That's what usually they do, except if they say something different. And if I go with seven days a week for, for seven, seven day hours a, week a day with five days a week, what do I know? I know my requirements. Seven days a week by, no, five days a week for seven days a, not a day, seven hours a day, how many hours they work, they work. How many hours do you work a week, in a week? Yeah. This is the meaning of this 35. 245. The meaning of this 35 is five days a week multiplied by seven hours. Is this clear? Okay. It's not the 35 years that I got married when I was 35. Is how many hours an average person works a week without asking specifics? This is general information or hypothesis. Clear? And if I do all that stuff, I make a mistake. And I go on and I ask Robert, why do I get a mistake? And Robert sees certain things are in black and certain things are in red and sees that here I did not end up the parentheses. I make that and I have an answer. And here I have an answer. 6.8, 6 and 3.4. And I have a problem. Adre, can I have 6.8 persons to walk, work within a week? Andre, can I have 6.8 persons to work for a week? No. No, because King Solomon wants to split a person and the mother says no. Therefore, I will put here a note. And if I want in Mathematica to put a note, I put whatever I want to have within a parenthesis followed with a star. And I can have six or seven persons. And six or seven persons do not give me 240 hours. They give me either less or more than three, four, three, 240 hours. Is this clear? And if Alia is a manager, then she can go after that and she can find out what she wants to do. 
if she has six people that work for 35 hours. But if she has seven people that work for 35 hours, she can calculate to see what is happening. And she will say, they can work between 210 and 245 hours. There is a variability. Six people can give you 210 hours. Seven people can give you 275 hours. How do you want to control it? Do you want to control the people or do you want to control the hours? I don't care. It's up to you. And I go on to the manager. And Isabel is a manager. Usually you hire people or you control hours, Isabel. both sometimes okay and i want you to be able to do it with both the problem i get it is also here this is packaging and packaging does not give you an exact number the number that you have is the number that you have is three or four persons The number that you have is three or four persons. And you want to know how many hours you will have in packaging. If you have three persons, then you will have that much. If you have four persons, you will have that much. You solve everything and you have variations. Is this clear? Things can go up and down. Isabel keeps the notes and I go on and I look at my problem and I mark. This thing is not exact. This thing is not exact. It can go up and down. And if Adre has to manage it, needs to know exactly what is happening if Andre pays for someone he needs that person to have work to do like if I have someone in my class I want my student to follow what is happening because then I'm in trouble do I get into trouble yes Elia is saying I'm wasting my time being here and I'm paying my money, and that's double the problem. And I Professor, don't. Want I have to... a question. Yes. Can you explain to me again what the five and the seven stands for? How we got that five and the seven in order to get the amount of people that's going to work? When I go to work, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And when I go to work, I work for seven hours but I'm paid for eight because I belong to the union. And these are more or less the standards we have in the United States. If I get out of the United States and I go to China, then these standards will change. And if I go to the China's prison, then these are not standards anymore. They can work as many hours as they are told to. And I want to know what is happening here. Why did I put these two lines in large numbers? Because they are not having anything to do with dollars. But you can calculate dollars because of that. And I would ask Guy to tell me what is happening here. I go further down. Do I know anything about these hours? I will say, yeah, I will assume something. If 
if I use minimum wage labor, what do I have? If I use minimum wage labor, what do I have? You should have a number. I have different numbers because if I use minimum wage that are not in the union, they can work more out. So it's not going to be 35, it's going to be 40. And not only it's going to be 40, this part is going to be 40, but something else is going to be important. This, something else is going to be important. Minimum wage is $15 per hour. Clear? Which means if you have this information, can you tell me something that you said before without having information? And Damian said something about cost. Do you know anything about cost here? Do you know anything about cost here? No. Can you calculate the labor cost? Yes, Professor. Good. If you calculate the labor cost, can you tell me how much is your total cost due? That this particular case requires you, given how many people you will employ. Yes, Professor. So if Model A um, total hours for the wiring drilling and assembly is 6.5. So you find that yes. times the minimum wage. Then it was the last guy that, the last guy that joined the class. If you don't know how to do it, you pay him $20 per hour and he's going to give you the answer. Now I give it for free, Professor. We're all learning here. Nothing is for free. <laughs> Get twenty dollars per hour. When I was in your position, I was charging fifty dollars per hour to keep my to put or other. Okay, so I keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> so what I want you to do, I want you to be able to tell me something that the problem does not give you explicitly, but you can calculate it, making certain assumptions. The assumptions can change. But the result is, you can tell me two things. You can tell me how much is your labor cost for this situation. You can tell me how much is the labor cost for this case here. And I would go on and ask another question. If I assume that the only thing I have is a labor cost. Can you relate how much is the labor cost to what kind of model A and model B you are producing? So you can tell me how much each one contributes to the profit. Because I asked Esther, what is profit? I ask Esther, what is profit? Do you remember that I asked her? Kadisha. And Esther gave me an answer. All right, the answer here. Esther said, Esther said, within a parenthesis with star, I can write whatever is my comment. I want that to be engraved to everybody's mind. Esther said that profit is revenue minus cost. Right, Esther? Yes, okay. And we go further. Esther says that revenue is price multiplied to multiplied to the quantity of production. Right, Esther? 
is revenue your price multiplied by how much you produce. <coughs> yes. And Jerry says that cost is your labor cost plus <coughs> everything else, other cost. And you told me you can calculate the labor cost. Clear? You can calculate yeah. the labor cost. You don't know how much is the other cost. Let's assume that is zero to make things easy. You know how much is your labor cost. You know how much is your profit per unit. Your profit per unit. Do you know that or not? Do you know profit per unit? Yes. Yes, yes. Good. Those that don't know, you go back to Jerry and Jerry is increasing the price. Do you know what is revenue per unit? Do you know what is revenue per unit? No. And do you know what is cost per unit? No, present. Good. No, we don't know those. I go to Kadisa. Kadisa. What is revenue per unit? Um, that's all of the total capital in one. That is no, very simple. Andre, are you here? Yes, professor. What is the revenue per unit? Uh, we don't have revenue per unit because we don't. We don't know the total, uh, like, we don't, we don't have that yet. Can right? you calculate or can you assume? My question is what you know and what you don't know. And I want you to know more based upon making common sense of what you know and what you don't know. So how do we find the revenue unit? Um, that's, an that's, an that's an interesting question. Revenue per unit, what is it? Guy. Um, professor. Yes. We, when we're doing the range and we're like switching the variables around how much people, um, how many days, how many hours. Correct. Does that all matter? That's how everything matters and i want to know damian what is the revenue per unit esther what is revenue revenues are the the results of the sales in the company okay revenue is price multiply to quantity the unit is how many quantities we have Quantities divided by quantities is what? Price. Therefore, what is revenue per unit? The price revenue of it. Per unit is what is your price? What do you know and what you don't know? What you know and what you don't know? Do you? know how to calculate the labor cost yes if you know how to calculate the labor cost i want to see your calculations do you know how much is your profit per unit for model one and model two yes, yes. if you know how much is your profit per unit for model one and profit two you know how many units you can produce you know how to calculate the labor cost and then find the labor cost per unit you can be able to tell me 
what is the price. And I want you to go on and think the other way around. If you go on and you see this is the price, you can calculate how much profit this guy makes. Clear? Yes, Professor. And I yeah. want to go and see what is happening. But I want to know more. What do I want to know? I go on and I see something here. I ask Jerry, Jerry, what the heck is this one? And I go further and I see this. Jerry, what the heck is this one? Same thing. And I go to this one and I see. And I ask Jerry, Jerry, what the heck is this one? This is not business. This is algebra. I took algebra, but I forgot it. What is this? Jerry, can you explain to me? Jerry, can you explain to me? I'll change the numbers. I'll say I use six people that work five days and they work eight hours per day. And I will use six people that work five days and they work eight hours per day. And I will use three people that work five days and they can work eight hours per day. And I know what I want to do. What do I want to do? I asked that before. And from a lady, I got an answer. And the answer I got from a lady, but I don't see her right now because she's smoking, is that I want to find out how much of Model A and Model B I produce in such a way that I can make most of the profit. Is this clear, Alia? Yes, Professor. You don't have to hide to smoke. You can smoke anytime you want. How do I know that you were smoking? You see, I saw the smoke going up. You saw the smoke. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm trying to be respectful. Don't be sorry for anything. What I want to do, I want to see the smoke and know what is happening. And I want to see the numbers and see behind the numbers what is happening. Otherwise, I know when you smoke, you really pay attention to what is happening because smokers are really good students so can i figure out what is happening that's simple i pass it to guy we said he puts it in math he puts he goes here he puts shift tender and he has a solution and you get this solution and everybody or most of the people can take this solution and they can say this is what you get what do i get i produce only model b and model b is giving me profit 15 dollars if i produce only model b and i get 120 units of model b and I have only $15, I will multiply these two and I will get 1800 This is my profit that I have in that situation. And this is the case I'm dealing with. Am I happy? Is this the best I can be able to do? No. What is my labor cost? Um, what is the price that I need to have so I can make that profit? 
And these are the answers that I want from you. And you don't need a computer. You need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. Can you do it? You are in business. You cannot do it. I don't care if you have a degree. You are not for business. And my father was in business. He didn't have a degree. He didn't go to high school. He went to elementary school and one year in middle school. But he was in business because whenever he knew a price, he could be able to estimate what is the cost and the profit. And you have homework that I want to see it before I go to bed tonight. And I go to bed at 9.30. Can you tell me what is the production cost that you have here? And if I go to any other college, they will tell me this is my solution. And they will take it as given. That's the solution. And this is what it is. But you got me as your teacher. And I am a Greek. And like the Jew that believes, I am a Greek and I don't believe. And I doubt. That's why the Jews create the law and the religion. And the Greeks be create the science because they don't believe. And they doubt. Do I have a right to doubt? And my question is from everybody that I used, these six, 12, 16 people, do I get the most out of them? Because if I use these people, six plus six plus three, do I know how much I pay them? And I go here and I can calculate. And I don't need to do anything. I can put six plus six plus three. They work for five days a week. And they work for eight hours a day. Do I know how much it costs? And that's $600. If this is $600 to have these guys, is this correct number or not? Are you referring to 1800? Is this a correct number? No, you need to subtract the labor cost, which is 600, we say. Mine is the It's 6 plus 6, 12 plus 3. Sixteen. I have sixteen people that work for five days for eight hours. This is six hundred forty. Why did I get a different number before? Is my question that I will pass to you. Because you multiplied. You multiplied um the amount. Yeah. Of you hours start paying twenty five dollars per hour to Aliyah to give you answers. No, you have to actually change the 16 to 15. What do I have to do? You have to change the 16 to 15. Good. And you have to pay attention to what mistakes are done. So you know that you are my student. This is your labor cost. Do you know how much is your revenue? Do you know how much is your revenue, Esther? Eight. What do you have? Eight. How many units do you produce? Um. Do so you produce that think... many models? No. What do you mean no? What is this so, number? So for A, no, but for B, yes. Yeah. So we produce more. For A, you don't produce anything for A. What do you produce? You produce 120B, right? Yes. 
you know if you produce 120 b this is the amount of profit that you make if the only cost that you have if the only cost that you have is labor cost do you know how much is your revenue Esther says that profit is revenue minus cost. Profit is this amount of money minus 600 that is the cost, but is it? I don't understand. Yeah. What is this? That's your revenue. Revenue. But you know that's that, the professor. Yeah. You know Probably. that if you have this revenue and you produce 120 units, you know what is happening with the price of is this the price? Yeah. But if this is the price if this is the price, can you make profit? Can you make profit twelve dollars per unit? Yeah. No. Wait. If it's if if you said it's ten dollars, right? No, you can't have that. No. The fifteen is the minimum wage. Yes. Right. What says, this fifteen is not minimum wage. This is fifteen dollars profit for every model B. Model B. Oh, but okay. I thought we had established that we were paying fifteen dollar wage per hour. That's what I was saying. I was right. That, mean, that means that with fifteen dollar wage, you cannot be able to operate. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you. With fifteen dollars wage, you cannot be able to operate. Can you it's tell too me? Much. Why you, is that, Professor? Can you tell me what is the minimum wage you can pay so you can be able to have profit? Fifteen dollars. In other words, I want to go backwards and think. If I have fifteen dollars profit per unit can you tell me what is going to be the minimum wage that would give you that profit and can you go on and find when you're going to produce that part because if you do that in new york you have to pay 15 dollars minimum wage if i go to nigeria do i have to pay 15 dollars minimum wage or not I don't know. I'm going to ask Paco. Much, much less. Not even. Much less. How much? much? Well, I heard when my father told me that, like, the entire salary for one year is equal to, like, $5 of the U.S. bill. So it's like. So much. how much I have to pay per hour? I don't know. Like a couple cents. And even then, I can. Can we settle to a quarter? I have to look at the um, conversion between the money, but I guess a quarter would be even much less than a quarter as well. Okay, I want you to do the calculation with quarter. You can give just a dollar <coughs> per day or per hour, and I want you to be able to calculate. That is why I want you to be able to do that stuff. So I have one big problem. And the big problem I have today is from all the information that I have here, what additional information I get, and which are the parameters that I'm within. <laughs> Professor. Hold on a minute. I want Aliyah to pay attention and you listen to your father. That's your father, right? Aliyah, is this your father or your boyfriend? 
Uh, hmm? That's a good thing of being at home. You reveal all the privacy to everybody else. In my previous class, I had one guy that he was going to the bathroom with everything else and he was giving us picture of what is happening in his bathroom when he was doing his needs. And one other student sent me a message, said, does he realize that he goes to the bathroom? It happens. And what it happens is a lesson that I want to get. And the lesson is very simple. If this is my information, this is what I get, that's my explicit information. What additional information do I get from that case? And I want to go to two steps further. What I see here, what I see here, related to what I see here is what I will have in these equations. And I will go from New York to Nigeria. And if I go to Nigeria, these hours, they will cost me much less. That's why I take business from here to Nigeria. And I want you to be able to calculate, is this efficient business? And this is what we did yesterday. Is this efficient business? And if this is efficient business, from the first equation, from the first equation or inequality, I want you to tell me four extra additional pieces of information. I want to tell me if you do only model A and nothing model B, not the answer that you get here, the opposite answer. How many models you can wire, wiring model A? If you don't wire any model A and you wire only model B, how many models you will wire if you wire only models B? nothing model A. And if you want to shift from model A to model B, or from model B to model A, I want to know how many hours you will give away from model A to go to model B, or away from model B to go to model A. Why? I don't know. I'll ask Damien. Damien is going to say, because if you have two points, you make a line. But if you have a line, you know what is the intercept and you know what is the slope. This is what you got in your algebra class, correct? And I don't care if you got algebra, if you passed it or what grade you got. Professor. Yes, sir. Okay, so since we assume that uh, it was fifteen dollars minimum wage and that came out to be wrong, so how we move on from that? Given that the profit is fifteen dollars, but then again, we don't know our costs. There are two different ways to move on. And how we do that? One way is to go on and do your operation in Nigeria, so you will pay for The other way is to say, okay. If I want to do it in the United States, I need to have higher profits per unit, and I need to increase that much more. If I have more profits per unit, do I change anything? But the, okay, there's a different case. But I want to tell me what is this case here. Still, I'm producing only model B. And I make much more profit now. And I want you to tell me, am I profitable or not? 
And you don't have to go to college to tell me that. My father didn't go to college to tell me that. That means that per unit you have much higher profit, which means what is the price that you have to charge if you pay minimum wage? And you need to tell me the price that you have to do to have minimum wage. If your number doesn't come up, you need to increase the price. If you increase the price, you need to get more profit. Can you do it? Funny. I go on and ask Jerry. Jerry would say, okay, the number would be much higher. That means the price is going to be higher. Then the question is, can Aliyah be able to sell these models so she can make that amount of profit? But the problem on one side is there. And the problem is, why do you produce only Model B? Why do you produce only Model B? Um, if I remember that, because it, it, it cuts the time by, by half in no. comparison to, to um, Model A. No, and I will put something else. Okay. And I will put something else here, altering the problem. And I would say that for Model A, I need to have at least 70 units. For Model A, I need to have at least 70 units. I need to have at least 70 units for Model A. This is the requirement that I get here. And I can solve the problem. But now I get a different solution. And the solution now says that I can produce 70 units of Model A and 15 of Model B. I'll go back to the initial case. 25, was 25 or 15? 20. 22. What was the initial profit per unit here? 22, 22 and 15. 22 and 15. 22 and 15. I put at the original case. Again, the solution is I can produce now 70 and 15. And I will have that amount of profit. I want to see what would be the case if I don't have that requirement and I can let the problem run as it is, this is more profitable, but I can produce more of product for A and not B. And I have a big problem and I don't want you to go to college to give me the answer. I want you to know, what is happening with that case? And I go and I can ask Kadisa, where is Kadisa? Kadisa is there. Kadisa says, what if you have seven people here and four people here? You go to the other case. Can you be able to do anything differently? And yeah, I can go on and have more of product B and more profit. Is this okay? And Esther says, I need to figure out what is happening and how I analyze my case. And I ask Guy, Guy, did you get accounting class? And Guy says, yes, I got A in all accounting. And I want to find out can you get in your accounting books someone that is paid from the payroll that Esther is giving 
but going to work and not doing anything. Like my student that comes to class, I see him. I said, don't put all the microphones on so I can not hear noise. But that particular person, instead of following what is happening in the class, can go on and watch a movie. Do I capture that person? Or not? Isabel, do I capture that person? No. Yes, I do. Because next hour, next day, I ask a question, I don't get an answer. Sure. I want from everybody to move on because we are moving on. And I want to know what is happening with that case. The problem, as it is here, doesn't tell me much. But if I graph it, if I graph it, I get something differently. And if I graph seven people working for five days for eight hours, this is what they can be able to do. If this is the case, what do I see? What do I see? What is the slope of this line? What is the range that I have here? What do I see? I see a line. Can you tell me what is the meaning of this line? And this line is about wiring. And then I can put wiring and drilling together. And I can say now I'll have them to work for eight hours, not seven hours. I'll put it one next to the other so I can see and I can see what is going on. And I see this case here. This case here. I look at my problem I have here. What do I see in my problem? The numbers are not more or less the same. They are not the same. They are different numbers. I go on to my problem. What do I want to see? The numbers are not the same. What is the difference? I make an adjustment to the numbers. What numbers I need? Two and three, two and one. I go on and I put the numbers. Two and three, two and one is the numbers that I have, three and two, two and one. I need to see the numbers here. Three and two, two and one. Is this what I have? And I want to know, is this my case or not? And I ask Kadisa yeah. the question, where are you Kadisa in the car? I have 13 people here. Before I didn't have 13 people here, how many people I had? How many people I had before? Esther? Seven, seven people. Seven. And here I had six people. I make the graph and I have this line. And I ask a question, is there any problem if I have less people? And I want address to tell me what is happening. Address, I want you to tell me what is happening. Before Aliyah tells me. Because if Aliyah tells me, then you're dead meat. Aliyah, what is happening here? Do I have enough people to do my work? Last week, Isabel asked me a question. What is the meaning of one triangular, right, Isabel? 
Now I don't have a triangular, I have a trapezoid here. I have a trapezoid here. What is the meaning of this trapezoid? Um, question, the yellow, the tan one, that's the drilling? The brown is the drilling. Okay. The blue is the wiring. That means more. The blue is the wiring. The brown is the drilling. That means what? There's more um, production being done in drilling than wiring. And what do I do? Um, you have to probably add more people to wiring. I'm saying people, they don't have work. What do you want to do? You want to be a manager. What do you need to do? Do you need to have more people here? Or you or need to have people. less people here? Less people drilling. And less this is up to you. This is up to you. If you have less people here, that moves down. If you have more people there, that moves up. If you put less persons here, that moves down. And based upon that, the area that is visible is changing. And the question is, do you make more profit or less profit than what? And this is what I want you to tell me by tomorrow. Tomorrow, I want to start my class and I want to hear a report from each one of you. What do I want you to tell me? The story behind these numbers. And as these numbers are going up and down, I want to know, can you tell me what is the price that I need to put here? Can you tell me we've given estimates, what would be the cost if I want to do the production in the United States or if I want to do the production in Nigeria? But I know something very important. If I want to sell it in the United States, you guys would like to pay as low as possible for the price. Can I afford to produce the iPhones in the United States and not in China? In China, it costs you about $1,000 per iPhone. If I had to produce that in the United States, would you pay $3,000 per phone? And could we change phones as frequent as we have it now? And no way. What I would like to do I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock. Let's say I'll have a couple hours after dinner to look at your work. From now to dinner, if you don't have anything to do and you can be able to give things as a report to me, I would like to know what can you extra tell me about this case that is simple, but I don't see it here. And the time is up and I need to let you go so you can think about uh, uh, professor are you, are you sending us this video uh why i should send that video you were in class i, I will send that video as fast because as um i don't have that you see that you see this region plot that you have right here set up that's not on the um that's not on the um the the, the mathematical book thing that you sent us a question 20 to 24 that's not on there this is not in the question 24 that's not in the form that I gave you. That's in 224? Right, right now I can send you this file. About the video, I will try to send it. Oh, you got to scroll it down. It's there. It's below. What number is that? After 224? It's 224, but you got to keep scrolling. There's two, actually. You've got uh, your hourly wage. Uh, sorry. Your hourly uh, labor, and then you've also then you've got the region plot with the graph. Okay, I saw that, but but the way he had it right there, that's not the way this is set up. No, it's not. He right, changed. that's what I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. right. Gotcha. And I want you to change it too, Damien. But you know, right, we well, I'm trying to figure out how to change it now. Yeah. Okay. Good. Take care, guys. You have any questions?